NFC tags are tiny devices that contain a microprocessor and an antenna encased in a substrate. These two components are held together by a substrate. A typical NFC tag is nothing more than a paper-thin plastic disc with roughly the same diameter as a quarter. This type of tag might be utilized in an intelligent house. It is just around 1 32nd of an inch thick and includes adhesive on one side, making it possible to attach to virtually any surface. It is unnecessary to connect an NFC tag to a power source or use batteries to function. This video will talk about 10 NFC tags in home automation that will blow your mind. So before starting this video, please subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Let's get started. A fun project that may bring significant convenience to homeowners and their families, integrating near-field communication tags into an intelligent home is one that homeowners can take on themselves. Number 10, using NFC tags with Home Assistant. Even if you don't use HomeKit, you can still take advantage of Home Assistant by utilizing NFC tags. This won't be a problem. Suppose you primarily control your smart home ecosystem through Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. In that case, you are out of luck because we are not aware of any method that enables these virtual assistants to use NFC. Because of the flexibility of the automation system, Home Assistant makes it much simpler to have several automation stored in a single NFC tag. This is made possible by the adaptability of the automation system. You can produce it all directly from within the Home Assistant app, which is available for iOS or through the use of shortcuts. We strongly advise doing it through shortcuts since if you don't, you'll have to provide your approval to the shortcut each time it's used. Navigate to the Shortcuts menu and add additional automation using the NFC tag. Select Fire Event within the Home Assistant app and make your selection. Simply give the event a name that is simple and easy to recall. Click Save and you are done! The Home Assistant works for both Android and iOS devices. You need a tag in Home Assistant iPhone or Android app. Launch Home Assistant. Open your sidebar by clicking the three lines. Then go to Configure, Tags. Add tag and name it Tag 1. Then click Write. Place your phone over the NFC tag. If you don't know where your phone's NFC reader is, you may have to move it. Finally, you may now use NFC tags to activate automation. Number 9. Instantly connect to a Wi-Fi network. The passwords for Wi-Fi networks are notoriously difficult to remember. Because of this, connecting your network is a complex process. If you would instead substitute that laborious process with a single tap, you can write your Wi-Fi password to an NFC tag. This will allow you to log in with just one tap. This functionality is supported by both Android and iOS, so it takes a fixture on the tag to pre-populate the Wi-Fi connection data and get you connected without any additional hassle. Consider purchasing a device such as the Wi-Fi Porter if you like the concept, but prefer to have something a little more official. The device is a high-quality, straightforward, and user-friendly NFC device that performs the same function. Number 8. Get yourself out of bed. Getting out of bed in the morning can be quite a struggle. Even the most persistent alarm clock isn't enough to get some folks up in the morning. If that's the case, you might want to think about getting yourself out of bed with the help of an NFC tag. Apps like Sleep As Android employ, employ in-app CAPTCHAs to integrate alarms with NFC tags. Other examples of such apps can be found here. These are designed to force you to engage in the activity by requiring you to interact with a tangible object somehow. After you've used the software to generate an NFC-based CAPTCHA, the only way to turn off the alarm is to get out of bed, locate the NFC sticker, and touch your phone against it. Number 7. Automate Common Phone Tasks Both Android and iOS now offer options to automate routine processes. However, these approaches may not always provide the degree of flexibility that you may require. When you leave the house, you can use NFC to program shortcuts for phoning a specific friend or family member, launching your camera, or starting your preferred streaming service. You might want to purchase a set of Dimple Smart Buttons if you're looking for a quicker and more effective approach to automating these shortcuts. These actual buttons will stick to the back of your smartphone, close to where the NFC chip is located. When you press them, they begin an NFC task of your choosing, which you may configure using the Dimple app. 
Number six, open garage door. Put an NFC sticker inside your vehicle. Simply scanning the tag will allow you to activate the MyQ garage door opener whenever you pull into your driveway. Number five, turn off all the lights. You should affix an NFC tag to your nightstand in your bedroom. Instead of relying on automation to turn off all of the lights in your house at a particular time, especially if you go to bed at different times, you can simply scan the tag to turn off all the lights whenever you decide it's time to go to bed. This is especially helpful if you have multiple people in the house who go to bed at different times. To accomplish this, you will need to include the setting for each of your lights in the groups. Number four, unlock doors. If you have your children use a home assistant to keep track of their chores, you can have them scan an NFC tag instead rather than have them open the home assistant app to mark a job as finished. Suppose your children have to accomplish five different chores. In that case, you will probably need to use five separate NFC tags, one for each commission. To serve as a visual reminder, it could be a good idea to use stickers for this one and to affix them to a whiteboard labeled Chore Tracker. Number three, guest control access. Put an NFC sticker close to the door of your front entrance or inside your vehicle. Scan the tag to get the door unlocked whenever you return home. If you use the Keymaster integration, we don't doubt that you will come up with some additional exciting ideas. For those of you concerned about the safety of this, the use of NFC tags can be triggered in your home assistant instance only by the device's granted permission to do so. Arbitrary strangers can't scan your tag and open the door. Number two, guest control and access. Suppose you have guests staying with you rather than creating a user for them, providing them access to various Lovelace dashboards and generally teaching them how to turn things on and off. In that case, you may gift them with an old phone or tablet during their visits. Simply present them with a piece of paper with different tags attached to each side. We have found instructing guests to push the button once to turn on the light, press the button twice to turn it off, hold it down to turn on the TV, and other similar instructions make this much more difficult for them to understand. Number one, arm the alarm. If you do not have your Alamo security system configured to arm and disarm according to a premeditated schedule, using NFC tags is a fantastic alternative. Simply position an NFC tag in the vicinity of the entrance and then scan it on your way out. Put the other one on the nightstand so it can be activated anytime you leave the room. One of the most cost-effective enhancements that can be made to your smart home is the installation of NFC tags. It can be readily integrated with a wide variety of innovative home platforms by using either the iPhone shortcut app or the Android Tasker software on their respective smartphones. Furthermore, the functions they can do are limited only by the user's imagination. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more home automation videos, subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed. I'll personally reply to your comment. See you next time. Thank you for watching.